weapon of this day. Okay? And Jesus says, if you don't have one, go and buy yourself a sword. You see? Yes, my friends. A sword. In Jesus' day, a sword was the most dangerous weapon of that day. Are you all hearing this? Huh? I believe that if Jesus was walking the earth today, he would tell us to go buy yourself an assault rifle. Because times are going to get rough. <clears throat> yes. Worse than what it is today. It's already bad, but it's going to get worse. So we see here, Jesus says, it is better for you to have a weapon. And a soap weapon than to even have a garment. Protect yourself and your family, people. That is what we need to be talking about today. The protection of you and your family. Listen, I want to say this, my friends. If Jesus walked the earth today, he would be a proponent and supporter of the Second Amendment. Yes, he will be, my friends. You say, what is the Second Amendment? Well, Second Amendment, it reads this way. A well-regulated militia, okay, being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms, shall not be infringed. Let's talk about that. There are two words here that you need to be very familiar with here. See that word there? The Second Amendment. A well-regulated militia. Let's deal with that word first. Militia. What is a militia? Well, the Webster Dictionary here says that a militia is any army composed of citizens rather than professional soldiers call up in time of emergency. I wonder who would do the calling of this so-called militia. It wouldn't be the government, wouldn't be the federal government, because they wouldn't want you to be armed. They wouldn't want you to attack them if they are indeed attacking you. Don't you all know something, my friends? I want to tell you something. Don't you all know that any president <laughs> in America could call for martial law at any time and could create any emergency they want to? Oh, yes. And the only people who would ever sell weapons if they take their sell weapons are going to be whom you all? The military, the federal government, if they take ours. Is that right? Leaving us what? Helpless. Not being able to defend ourselves. Now, let's talk about this a little further here because you need to understand something. You see, it goes on to say, a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state. See, our founders did not want the government to become so big and powerful that it would begin to be a tyrant over the people, that it would enslave the people, that it would be a dictator to the people. See? So it says here, see? The right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Should not be infringed. That's right, infringed. Infringed means what? It shall not be impaired. It shall not be violated. It shall not be encroached upon. Nor 
shall it be trespassed upon. Not at all. Nothing at all shall be taken away from that right. You have full right to bear any arm necessary, any arm you see that is necessary or that you think is necessary. That right cannot be limited. And the government wants to do that. They want to take away your guns. Let me come down and talk to you, my friends. Listen, outside of the government having weapons, assault weapons, who else will have them? The criminals. The criminals will have them, right? That's right. Because they are going to get them illegally, right? But you being a law-abiding citizen, you're going to get yours legally. Well, the government is saying you can't have yours legally. They're going to take yours away. That's what they're trying to do. Why? Because they want to rule you. Because they want to dictate over you. Control you. That's what they want to do. And they know that if you have the right, if you have the same firepower as they, they will not be able to rule over you and dictate over you. Is that right, you all? Huh? This is a republic. Is it right? This is not a place where we have a king. Is that right, you all? This is America. A so-called democracy where the people rule. We rule. The government works for us. We don't work for them. But isn't it funny that every time someone gets into office, they get it all backwards. They think that, uh, we work for them? No, we don't work for them. They work for us. We sent them there to Washington and the state house and every other kind of house, right? And they must do as we wish. So that right should not be infringed. So anyone comes to you and tell you, oh, we ought to take away the assault weapon. You say no. I want to tell you something, my friends. If the criminals break in your house, three or four of them, if they break in your house, do you think one little pistol is going to stop them? No. Because if each of them have a pistol, you can stop them with one. Is that right, you all? Let alone if they have an assault weapon and you don't have one, you are done. You are finished. And all of the drug dealers have them. Yes, sir. A house, yes, house full of them and a trunk load full of them. <laughs> all kinds of weapons.